It's pretty much common knowledge that the vast majority of superheroes rely heavily upon their superpowers. Unless you're Batman, there's a pretty good chance that either magic, science, or a secret alien bloodline is powering your ability to beat down whoever stands in your way. With these powers being so integral to superheroes doing what they do, it's always interesting to see comics where these special abilities are taken away, and our favorite heroes are left trying to figure out what they are when all their cool powers are removed. This in mind, these comics can vary massively in tone, ranging between profound philosophical debates about superpowers to hilarious looks into just how inept characters like Superman can be when they're without their superhuman talents. While they're seldom permanent, seeing how different superheroes react to losing one of the most important things about them will always make for an unforgettable comic, as it provides perhaps the best insight into the actual personality of the character in question, especially on the rare occasion we found out that someone has gotten rid of their powers on purpose. So, I'm Ewan, this is What Culture Comics, and here are 10 insane times superheroes lost their powers. Number 10, Superman. Whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow? Throughout Superman's run in comics, we've seen pretty much every color of kryptonite under the rainbow used against the Man of Steel. What we haven't often seen, however, is golden kryptonite, which was introduced in Adventure Comics number 299 and then ignored for years until it showed up for the dramatic closing scenes of Superman Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. After a series of intense battles with all of his oldest foes, Clark kills Mr. Mixelplick and is then struck with horror and having purposely and brutally murdered the Dimension Hopping Imp. Consumed with regret, the hero enacts the planning had created an event of him ever using his powers for wrongdoing, stepping into the golden kryptonite chamber that permanently removes all the DC Titans' powers from him. With so much of the comic suggesting that Superman would die at the end, it's strangely rewarding to see him actually only lose his powers and go on to live a happy life with his wife and child. Number 9. Wolverine Wolverine Volume 5 Number 6 the 2014 Wolverine series went down a route that few other comics starring the short Canadian menace have ever gone down, as issue 6 features our favorite X-Man being infected with an alien virus that removed his own healing factor. While this sounds like an excuse to place Wolverine on the back benches, this only convinces the hero to do more and more daring missions. This served to amp up the tension for the rest of the series, as every issue after this point appeared to have a scenario where it looked as though the adamantium lace warrior was about to face his end. Although this is one example of a depowering that perhaps went on for a little too long, as this infection would last into the next volume and year of the comic's run, it still proved an interesting experimentation with how writers could play around with an existing hero's powers. Number 8. Captain America, Volume 7, Number 21 For the vast majority of superheroes, losing their powers has little physical effect for them, aside from not being able to shoot laser beams or jump over towering buildings. For Captain America, however, there is another impact, as Steve's body is technically in his 90s, meaning that when supervillain Iron Nail drains the super soldier serum from Rogers' body, America's golden boy suddenly starts aging, fast. This placed the superhero in a dangerous position as his considerable age initially placed his life at risk. Even after recovering from the life-threatening aspect of his loss of powers, Steve would still be unable to fight in the field, instead confined to instructing others in how to do his former job and regaling others in how he used to wear an onion on his belt, which was the style at the time. Captain America would remain stuck in his elderly form for some time as he wouldn't be restored to his former glory until 2016 in Captain America Sam Wilson number 7, a full two years after he initially lost his powers. Number 7. Wonder Woman Wonder Woman number 179 Having loved ones move away is always hard, especially when them leaving means all your awesome superpowers go away with them too. This was the exact case for Wonder Woman number 179, which saw Diana lose her powers when her Amazon family decided to leave the current dimension to recharge their powers, and Wonder Woman felt too tied to the current dimension and its earth to abandon it with them. While an entirely weird story, seeing a powerless Wonder Woman was interesting, as she essentially has to be trained to fight all over again from scratch, complete with a Mr. Miyagi-esque mentor in the form of the semi-questionable martial arts master, Mr. Ching. That said, it also wasn't better than seeing a fully powered Wonder Woman, so it was a great relief when her powers did eventually return several issues later. Number 6. Hal Jordan – Final Crisis One of the most unfortunate things about being a Green Lantern is that it's one of the only superhero gigs that involves you having to get into the complicated matter of space politics, whether you like it or not. This is best showed in Final Crisis, when a confused Hal Jordan is woken up by a bunch of Alpha Lanterns gathered over him, telling him he's been arrested for a murder he didn't commit. Despite the fact that this is clearly some case of corruption, Hal's powers are effectively neutered as the Alphas have the ability to briefly suspend Jordan's status as a Lantern. The fact that Hal is made powerless as a result of the hierarchy of the Green Lantern Corps is a testament to how the Corps can often prove to be as big a problem as the criminals they bring in. 
Number 5, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange Volume 2, Number 19. It's hard to think of Stephen Strange as not being the Sorcerer Supreme. And yet, this is exactly the route he chose in Doctor Strange 19, where the powerful Sorcerer rejects the Ancient Ones off of him to become one with the Cosmos, which is apparently the final test for the Magician to take. Wanting to live out the rest of his mortal time on Earth, Stephen refuses the deal and has his title and powers revoked as a result. Weirdly, the Magician keeps the dramatic costume associated with the Sorcerer Supreme role, making it even more awkward when he meets his successor for the position, a situation not helped by the fact that said replacement is called Doctor Stranger yet, and is literally just a clone of Steven with the head of a boar? Which does somewhat sour Strange's feelings on being replaced, needless to say. This doesn't last long though, as after the magician combats the villainous threat to the universe that is the in-betweener, he is reinstated in his rightful place as Sorcerer Supreme. Number 4, Deadpool. Deadpool Volume 2, Number 52. Deadpool's entire life is based around his superpowers, as the continual life-threatening risks he plays himself under time and time again are always with the knowledge that he can't be killed, so these stunts are technically entirely safe. That is, until Deadpool Number 52, where the Merc with a Mouth is injected by his sidekick turned rogue Bob, and infected with a serum that disables his body's ability to continually heal itself. While Bob thinks this is a part of his own master scheme, it's revealed that this was actually all a part of Deadpool's, as the anti-hero had finally gotten tired of his superpowers and aimed to try and find a way to kill himself. Proving that Deadpool is literally impossible to kill though, his plan fails, as he realizes he needs to save Bob from being murdered by half of the universe's underworld. After which point the serum wears off, rendering him invulnerable yet again. Number 3, Every DC Superhero, JLA Act of God. In just about the craziest Elseworld comic of all time, JLA Act of God looks at how a scenario in which the majority of superheroes lost their powers would go down, and manages to provide a surprisingly psychological look at how each individual member of the League would react to losing their enhanced abilities. Because there are some hugely varied reactions to the Black Light event. Martian Manhunter, trapped in his alien form and terrifying for the majority of humans, still perseveres in believing the event would have positive effects as he regards the natural disaster as a kind of reminder that people don't need powers in order to do good things. For those like the Flash or Green Lantern, however, their non-existent powers only prevent them from doing good deeds, and both end up clearly traumatized as a result of failed attempts to save the day. Act of God is a unique case, as it shows both the positives and negatives of how such an event would affect the world, creating a story much more complex in nature than many of its siblings. Number 2, Superman. Superman Volume 3, Number 40. Superman number 40, known better as the Powerless storyline, brings us an interesting scenario wherein the Man of Steel discovers he is capable of releasing a huge blast of solar energy from his body. That has the coincidental side effect of totally wiping out his proper powers for roughly the next 24 hours. It's an unusual story, focusing more on the way in which Superman interacts with the world than placing him against any villain, but this works in the comic's favor, as we see a genuinely unique take on how Clark Kent would react to adjusting to aspects of regular human life. It's also arguably the most fun look at Superman losing his proper powers that we've ever seen, with the Man of Steel having to get used to everything from hangovers and hunger to not being able to fly, with him making many endearing and entertaining mistakes along the way. And number one, All Mutants, House of M. In an insane moment that may never truly be matched again, the end of House of M marked one of the most widespread mass power removals of any comic ever, as when Scarlet Witch utters no more mutants, the mutant population sees their powers removed, one by one. For some, this isn't necessarily a dark event. As for those with mutations that make them reviled by the general public, like the bird-like beak, this removes the traits that they are mocked and belittled for. Given so many mutants had adjusted to their powers, however, and had lived their entire lives with them, the sense of loss felt by the vast majority of those affected is considerable, and explored for some time in the comics created after the event. The series would also develop its own What If House of M spin-off, which would see Wanda instead say no more powers, removing any special abilities from the whole world, mutation-based or otherwise. Hello YouTube, we're turning things up to 11 with the launch of What Culture Music. It's our brand new channel featuring all those lists you just can't get enough of, including creepy hidden messages in your favorite pop songs. As well as radio-friendly songs that detail literal murder. That's as well as chatty faces where we get personal with you on our sordid musical tastes, in-depth discussion podcasts, and we're even doing quality fun stuff like tournaments and quizzes too. There's going to be something for everybody, so come on over and make some sweet Sweet, sweet music with us. Or just watch the videos. That works too. Like, share, and subscribe at the link below, and we will see you there. Bye. Bye. And that was our list. Do you know any of the times superheroes lost their mojo? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
I've been Ewan. Catch more of me on Twitter at Ewan Ruins Things, more articles like this at whatculture.com forward slash comics, and more stories featured within at your local comic book store. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.